Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to Art Through the Apocalypse. This is Cable Rose with Let's Talk Leadership. Uh, in this series, I'm reaching out to uh, my fellow brethren out there in the art realm. And today we have a bit of a culinary uh, artist. Artiste is the word I'm going to try to say here. I'm going to get it wrong, Ruthie. So I'm going to introduce you guys, Ruthie, and I'm going to get it wrong, Land Landelius. Nope, I got it wrong. <laughs> it's Landelius. Landelius. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but Ruthie is joining us. Um, I kind of play the uh, the matrix is what my brain works on. And everybody right above them has this little blue or green or red or yellow or purple dot. And if you draw a line straight up, then somehow we're all connected. And previously on the show, we had Angelita, our local photographer. She connected me to Ruthie. And um, I want to see what Ruthie's been doing since uh, the beginning of quarantine. So Ruthie, by all means, please come on and uh, introduce yourself and then tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, thank you so much for having me on the, the show. Uh, <laughs> I am a private chef by day. I work for an individual. Um, and any other hour of the day, I work on my baby, my hobby, which is a food blog that I run. It's a... Uh, called Black Fig Food, and it's a food blog that is um, all things recipes, vegan recipes. I do just post vegan recipes and talk about all sorts of other things is like uh, developing self-compassion, um, building a community around the table, getting your family back to the table, basically. I want people to fall in love with food again. And then, you know, most of my blog posts aren't just the recipes. I tend to write stories about, you know, insights in my life, what's going on with me, how I connect it to um, just the, the healing power of food. And I just, I, I'm, that's where my passion is. Just getting well, getting people to fall in love with being again. And well, let's do that then, okay. uh, Ruthie. Right. Um, uh, again, we're not going to date ourselves. We heard a little conversation about that, but let's talk about it. Where did your passion for food come from? Oh man. You know, I think it's just, been in within me all my life. When I was a kid, I used to play outside with my Barbies and we'd make mud pies and I would make food out of clay, but you know, I, it never got into my brain that that's what I was going to be interested in. I wanted to grow up and be a rock star. Okay. Like I wanted to be like the coolest bass player in the world and, <laughs> and I wanted to be an artist and I ended up going to art school and finally got my degree after so many years of, you know, dragging my feet and whatnot. And I just landed in the culinary world. I don't know how it happened. I think one day somebody said, Hey, your food is fantastic. You should do this for a living. And I was like, well, I guess I could. And I did. I started with personal chef services in Amarillo. Okay. Um, and that just kind of blew into catering. Hey, you know, I had a client that would say, Hey, my kid's getting married this summer. Would you mind catering her wedding? And I didn't want to do it. Uh, it scared me, you know, branching out to a bigger uh, idea as that. And then I saw all the fun that went into, uh, you know, from beginning to end of, offering someone that service. And I ended up doing a catering business for a couple of years. And that's how I met my, my bosses. Now they were really good clients. We built a, a fun rapport and okay. they offered me a full-time job. Um, I took it and that's where I'm at now. But the beauty of that is uh, I've, I've got time to focus on my, my true love, which is running my blog, my food blog. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> so uh, Ruthie, one, thank you. Cause I always like to hear somebody's background, their story, how they came to be and where they are today. Um, as you spoke and as you told us that story, my, my brain, oh, who's this? Come on, introduce. Right. This, is, this is Lil Raj. Lil <laughs> Raj. <laughs> yeah, Lil Raj. I love he Lil Raj. <laughs> well, good. That, hey, that's my first cameo in all the shows. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Um, but as you told me the story and as you do it, my brain goes to movies. And yesterday I was in the studio and I was listening to uh, Ratatouille. I have it on vinyl, so I'm listening to Ratatouille. Yes. And the scene where he uh, Remy takes the strawberry and the cheese and he puts it together yeah. and, and then all of the colors and all of the scene, that's what, when I'm in the kitchen and when I attempt to cook, I'm not a, I'm not a chef by any means, um, but when I do those things and I can take those flavors and take those uh, mixes, I think of that moment in the movie when he does it. And I think of yeah. the music and I think of the, and so I wonder what's it like for you awesome. when you have um, 
probably a very diverse palette, I imagine. Um, um, I do, I do. I'm, I'm, uh, I had my, my saliva DNA test done and I'm, I'm a super taster times two, like a super, super taster. So I can, everything is just sensory overload with me. I had a hard time getting used to cilantro, but I love it now. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's to me cooking and just combining all the flavors and textures. That's, that's the best kind of art because you can use all of your senses in that art and just the combinations are endless. And I mean, isn't that, isn't that cool? <laughs> like who wouldn't want to spend all day in the kitchen putting something fabulous together, a piece of work, an art you could, you could just go crazy with it. And that's what I love about it. Do you ever not want to eat it when you get done? You're just like, it's so, it's so, cause you said it's art. Like it's so good looking. I don't, I I don't want to eat say, this. Well, because I spend so much time in the kitchen, it's it, when you're looking at food all day, you, you're just not hungry, oh. but I like to play with my food and uh, yeah, I'll eat it. I eat it. Even if it's, I, I take pictures of it and then I'll destroy it. So <laughs> it's okay. Okay. As so long you, as it's you, <laughs> you mentioned uh, blackfigfood.com. Yes. And that is going to be your blog or your website or am I saying the same? That, is, that is my website. Uh, I do have a blog, you know, attached to it, but right now I'm working on some other types of things. Uh, offerings of sorts to okay. help people with um maybe just adding more plants to their plate uh, okay. a little cooking courses things like that so i've had time to work on that during this quarantine time and that's just been um i don't know it's you know we all have our good days and bad days during this time but uh anytime i start feeling that i'll either walk outside pick up a book or get my ass in the kitchen. I hope I can say that word. On oh, yeah, yeah. You can say it. And, this is a unedited, <laughs> unscripted. We just go with it. Yeah, yeah. And I just put on some music and I go. Like, that's that's my my trilogy of self-expression is is music, art, and food. Those three things together. You can't do one without the other, man. And I make sure that I incorporate two, at least two of those together at the same time. Okay, so, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak something in here. I don't know if you know I do this, but let's see – if if this oh is God. you, is this you? And maybe tell us what this is. I'm going to try to get out of the way um, and see if maybe we can see what this is. What is this and what are we Going doing here? to make me cry. Um, this is me at work. Uh, we do picnics out in the middle of nowhere sometimes during uh, um, the work day when there's guests. And I provide the picnic and I do prepare uh, – animal products, you know, for my bosses. So okay. that's salmon on the, uh, that's salmon <laughs> on the table. But, uh, yeah, that just brought me to tears and it shocked me a little because the photographer who took that passed away last year. He was a oh. really good friend. And, um, I, I didn't mean it to, I, I did. I stole off your page and I apologize. Yeah, but, that's um, fine. You're welcome to do that. It just, it just, it was nice to see. <laughs> good. But yeah, we were just joking around and he took that shot. Well, I love to see people in action. I love to see people in their um, happy place. And you mentioned something. So I have to admit, um, I'm an Apple guy. I don't know if you're an Apple or Android. I don't know, you know, what everybody's got their own thing. And that's what no, I'm with Apple too. <laughs> I won't I won't I won't say if you're not, that's okay. But um Apple TV just put out the Beastie Boys documentary with Spy, uh, by Spike Jones. And oh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen it because you mentioned yeah. music, but yeah. in the kitchen for like the last three weeks, my daughter's sick of it right now. But Every time I cook, I've got something from Beastie Boys on, whether it's Paul's Boutique or, you know, I'm, I'm going back to Sabotage Days. Yeah, I'm going through. So like you said, it's it's cooking and it's music. And you said you try to put three of them, uh, yeah, art, at least art again, music, yeah. and food, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, cooking is art. And it's fabulous that your daughter's in there helping you with it, too. I mean, that's time spent well together. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Well, I, she's 11. I haven't cracked an egg since she was four. When she learned to crack <laughs> eggs, I don't get to crack eggs anymore. Oh my gosh. Um, she's probably really good at not putting shells in the batter. <laughs> oh yeah. She's good. She's good. Awesome. Now I will tell you one more thing. So as, as we talked, um, I quit that job on Friday and on Monday I started this. I didn't know really what this was. Do you yeah. remember and help me out here locally? There was, a. Uh, uh, a, a woman who owned the old, old mall that turned it into the art district? Yes, I believe so. Sunset Center? Yes. Uh, I so, think I remember. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The, the old mall with all yeah. – everybody had an art. Sunset Center, yeah. So um, out of the blue, I was going to do a 
a sushi night where you came and learned to do sushi and we had ever the materials and we'd prep everything and it was like a couple's evening and you'd come and do like you know you know nowadays you paint with wine or you do whatever with i was going to do sushi up there uh just before they were transitioning from the the previous owner to the new 501c and i really wow. wish that had taken off but like you said i i had envisioned it being like food and music and a good night out and just having a good time with people. And um, I love the way you said it, to put people back at the table again. Yeah, there's, you can't go wrong with that. I, I, and I, I, I hate to call anybody out, but I That's can't okay. connect with people who don't have a passion for, for cooking. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Well, no, 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 no. That's okay. I mean, that's that's your passion. That's what you have. That um, and 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 I I'm willing to teach people, you know, how to get there, even so for just one or two nights a week. The get saddest, the saddest part of my home, and I love my family, but they both had a very small preference of food starch and meat and that's it so there's no greens there's no so i always say when i cheat on my wife which is a terrible thing to say but when i cheat on my wife i go get like korean or i go get a salad or i go get you know something without them because we have very limited choices in my home and so we're always trying to sprinkle something new in there um, yeah, yeah. and, and they've got and I'm not keeping them from it, but they've got like texture issues and things like that, where there's some things that just obviously don't, uh, right, the lure right. isn't there, but man, yeah. I love getting in the kitchen and just start sprinkling stuff around and having a good time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all good, man. I mean, um, everybody's on their own, uh, food journey mm -hmm. and I think it's important that we keep that in mind and not try to force things on other people. So, uh, you know, my family's full of different, you know, there's, we got a vegan, I'm I don't want to call myself vegan. I don't, I don't, for me personally, I don't think anybody could be 100% vegan. Okay. Uh, I'm an imperfect vegan. Let's say that. Okay. I like that. <laughs> and, and my kids, they, um, they just eat whatever I cook and they also like all the good yummy fried foods and stuff like that. So it's, um, I, I don't try to force it on them on, you know, the way sure. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm like here. This is what, this is my why. This is why I do it, and, you know, won't you join me? A little yeah. Simon Sinek sprinkled in there. I like a good why. <laughs> I like a good why. That's always a wonderful connection. Ruthie, I got to tell you, uh, this journey, I like the word you said, this journey I'm on as well with uh, reaching out, I am learning so much about different areas. Uh, I've had ceramics on. I've had a photographer on. I've had a gamer on. I've had cosplay. This afternoon, I've got somebody coming up for an interview from the uh, cosplay round where they get dressed up and they go to the Comic Cons. Yeah. And um, I'm looking for the musicians. And I believe, is your husband a musician? He is yeah. a musician. Absolutely. He I heard would that. love to talk to you. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to get with your husband and see if I can get him on. Um, my brother's okay. coming on. My mom's coming on. It's just cool to see the different areas that we're pouring back into during this time. Uh, yeah. Angelina, she was my second guest and she gave me a statement that I'm going to use. I told her I'm going to use it and I told everybody it's not her phrase, but she heard it. But again, we're passing along. The great pause. Oh, yeah. Have you heard this? That's beautiful. No. I, I, it's I, a beautiful yeah, way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, beautiful. it's a beautiful way of putting it. The great pause where we've got time to step back and get out of the hustle. And she made another good point too, to not have a hustle, a side hustle, but to just have a hobby. And mm -hmm. so I think it's beautiful. We can just stop and whatever that is. For me, it's now talking to all of you out there that are seeing what you're getting into. Um, and I love it because the city is full of wonderful, talented people. Um, it, and this time absolutely has inspired people to think outside the box and pick up a hobby or something that they had put down for years. Yep. And uh, it's therapeutic. It so is. I, I think a lot of good things have come from this strange Unfortunate, time. strange time. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I agree. Well, Ruthie, listen, I got to tell you, I'm going to put into uh, both the, the broadcast itself and post editing. And then, of course, in the YouTube, you'll have your, uh, I'm going to make sure I get it right, blackfigfood.com. 
Yes, yes. And you can also put in my Instagram as well because I'm on there heavily. <laughs> I will do that as well. I gotta, I'll make that connection after this, but we'll get you on there. Um, truly, just so people can see the, the amazing work you do and see what passion you bring into the realm of, of the culinary world. So as a, as, a, as a host, as a guest, I, really, I truly appreciate you being here, sharing your time with us this afternoon um, and everything else. Maybe one day I get to come to an event uh, where maybe you are catering said events and I get to come and, and, and take a look at what you got going on. And, oh, and thank you so much. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. <laughs> okay. Well, to everybody out there in TV land, I appreciate y'all being here as well. And for Ruthie being here this afternoon, well, we'll make sure we shave her, share her contact info and we'll get everybody out there. Uh, to everybody outside of TV land, I appreciate y'all coming and we'll catch you guys on the flip-flop.